हेलो फ्रेंड्स अवर सब्जेक्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हैज प्रैक्टिकल थर्टीन राइट शेल स्क्रिप्ट टू चेक एंड ग्रैंड फाइल परमिशंस शेल स्क्रिप्ट टू चेक एंड ग्रैंड फाइल परमिशन यूनिक्स फाइल्स कम्स विद द परमिशंस अ वे टू डिसाइड हु कैन रीड राइट एंड एग्जीक्यूट अ फाइल These permissions are divided into three parts: owner of the file, group to which the owner belong, and all other users. All these three users are having three permission: read, write, and execute. Every file in Unix has three user, and each user is having three permissions. for reading writing and executing that file these are the program outcomes of practical 13s and this is the practical outcome after complete learning of this practical you will be able to write shell script to find out whether the file has read write and execute permission these are the file test commands when we are using minus r file name option in the if statement for condition checking it will give true if the file exists and has readable permission minus s and the file name is true if the file exists and has a size greater than 0 Minus W and the file name is true if the file exists and has writable permission. Minus X and file name is true if the file exists and it is executable. Now we will see how to use such a checking in our Putty interface. That is, in Linux using Putty interface. Okay. now here we will have one uh, script in that we will check whether the file is readable writable or executable okay for that i will use vi editor vi and the name of the file that is pract 13 dot sh so here i will press first i to be in insert mode now i will write my statements initially i need to ask the user for entering the name of the file for i will write the echo statement and write enter file name and read the file name now i will check in the if the condition that minus r and the name of the file f1 and if this condition is true then i will write the echo statement file is readable and here we can write else statement in that we will write that uh, another statement that file is not readable and here end of if statement so we will save it and execute it so here i need to write the file file name let us say cm cm is one of my file so uh, as the file is having uh, read permission it will give us the message file is readable now for the same i will use uh, that for the write permission so here i will write that w and here just i will change the message write table and here also write table
I will save it and execute it. Again, I will enter the file name. It is writable. It, the file has the writable permission. Now I will check for executable. For that, I will make the changes in my echo statement. Executable. executable so we'll execute the script enter the name of the file and it is giving message that it is not executable executable let us check the file permission with ls minus l command from this you can get that the file is having read and write permission and not the execute permission so it has given us output as per this permission now we will check whether the file is having size greater than 0 or not now here the size of the file is 0 as it is not having any content let us check that file content it is an empty file so the size is 0 now we will change our script to check whether the file size is greater than 0 or not for that we are having the option minus is and uh, we will change our message that file is file size is greater file size is means this minus is uh, giving the file size is greater than 0 and for else part file size is not greater than 0 we will execute the script so enter the name of the file so it has given the file size is not greater than 0 so we can take another file also let us say uh, another input uh, it is uh, f1 so the file size is greater than 0 we will check it with ls minus l option so the size is 20 so it has given the message like that so in this way we can use all these minus r option to check the whether the file is having read permission minus w to check whether the file is having write permission minus x to check whether the file is having execute permission and minus s to check the file size is greater than 0 now we can also search uh, the various executable file in the directory so we can list all that files which are having execute permission for that we will make some changes in our file we will delete unwanted line now here I will use uh, one uh, for loop in that I will take one variable for it is the name of the variable in all the files and folders in the home directory for that I will check if now the for loop will require do statement and here I will use whether it is having execute permission and I will use that variable it for that uh, I will write it and here I will write then then we need to display that particular um, file name so echo name of the file which is stored in the variable it and af after that end of if statement and end of loop with done now we will execute this script So it has given us the list of the files which are having execute permission. We can check it by ls-l command. 
so it has given this file name it has read write execute permission zzz file it has read write execute permission and uh, three directories which are having read write execute permission so in this way we get the answer also we can have uh, the checking of all three type of permission in one statement so for that we need to use our logical and operator and uh, check the another condition here with the same variable and again the third uh, write permission with minus w option and the variable means this will check whether the file that it variable file means the uh, file name whose uh, name is stored into the it variable is having all three permissions okay so with this we can check whether the files are having all three permissions so again it will list because all these files and folders are having all three permissions read write execute so with this we can list down all the files which are having read write and executable permission similar way we can have the list of the files which are having the size greater than 0 also with minus s option now we will have the uh, script like that um, to read any file name and change the um, permissions of or assign all three permission to that file for that uh, we will make changes in this file so I will read the name of the file first now we will first list down all uh, its permission with ls minus l command and uh, here we are having the ch mode command with that we can assign all three permissions to all three users now this first seven is for use owner of that file next seven is for group user and next seven is for other user now 7 will include uh, the permission for read write and execute for reading we are having the number 4 for executing we are having the number 1 and for execution we are having the number 2 so the sum of these 4 1 2 will give us 7 so with this we can assign all three permission to our file f1 okay and again we can list its uh, permission with ls minus l so for that we will use that command now I will execute this file so our from this list you can get that the z is the file uh, which is having only read and write permission so I will enter here the name of the z and here it has given the permission before execution of that ch mode command and after assigning all three permissions to all three users so in this way we can assign permission to any file using ch mode command so this is all about the 13th practical so i think you have understood it so thank you